how are we all doing guys so today's video as you know recently um i picked up an item on swap shop and i thought i'd just do a video just checking it out thought we'd do it together uh reason for this let's just go through what it is first so that is the super game boy for the snes as you know i recently picked this up on on one of the swap shops and i've got this from fob uh and obviously it arrived the other day so i haven't had a chance to try it out yet so i thought let's do it together you know do it as a video and the reason i say try it out it's not because i've got and it's not because i think it's damaged or anything like that it's because as you know um i recently purchased a super retro trio plus um as i've said in videos before i got that because the TVs in here wouldn't hook up the Mega Drive. Uh, basically, if you put the Mega Drive on AV, the screen just would not show properly. It would go on and off all the time, and it was just a headache. So I used the Mega Drive in the front room. Now, of course, when it comes to doing videos, it then meant that I'd have to do it filming it on my phone, which isn't as good quality. And also there's the fact that, you know, obviously we're in lockdown, everybody's at home. So it just, it means it's, more of a headache trying to film for it so i got the super retro trio plus because it allows me to do that in here and it's obviously hd quality so it solves that problem so the other reason of course was because i also wanted to get the nes and the uh, super nintendo but obviously we live in a flat there's not a massive amount of room i haven't got room for all these different systems so it made sense to get the one system that does it all. Now, I've got a Game Boy. And as you know, the Game Boy was my holy grail for quite some time. It's funny because it's not really a hard console or hard handheld to get hold of. But for some reason throughout the years, it's always evaded me. So I know I eventually got one uh, last year. And I have enjoyed playing games in it, but I, my intention is to modify it. So that it's got an IPS screen, you know, a nice new shell. Just basically replace it, future-proof it, if you like. Um, so obviously at the moment I'm stuck with the old green screen, which isn't, it's all right on it, but it's not brilliant, because as we know, they degrade over time. So um, I was looking to get hold of one of these, so that I could plug it in, uh, slot the Game Boy cartridge in and play it on the screen. Now... The thing with this is, I'm not actually entirely sure whether this is compatible with the Super Retro Trio Plus. So I thought, tell you what, let's do it together. Let's find out if it is. Do it in a video. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to bung Solar Striker in this. Bung it in the Super Retro Trio Plus and we'll see if it works. Okay, see you in a bit. Wow, that's a tight fit, but it's in. Right, okay guys, so the moment of truth. Let's see if it works. Yes. All good. Just turn that volume down a little bit. Right. We kind of get it in colour as well, which is pretty good. Oh. Thank you. 
plunge right into that. Back down to single shot now, guys. As you know guys, this is one of my favourite Game Boy games, so let's have another go. Shot him. Music on this is fantastic. I love the music on this. Got that proper retro feel. Oh, it crashed right into me. Right, okay. Right, we're going to leave the gameplay there and we'll go back to my final thoughts on it. Really happy. Right, let's talk. Okay, so we checked it out and it works. Um, as you would have seen on the footage though, it's a bit of a tight squeeze. Uh, that slot on the Super Retroid Trio Plus is not quite big enough and it does really catch. You have to sort of give it a good push to get it in there. It's the way they've done the slot. They've, I'm sure they've designed that so that it takes Famicom cartridges as well. So it just makes it a little bit more awkward to get in, but it does go in. And as you can see by the gameplay, I mean, it, it come up really well. It even sort of gives it a colour as well, which I thought was nice. Sound is fantastic as well. I thought it might lose a bit, you know, going for a converter, but no, it sounded all right, as you saw in the footage. So, yeah, really happy with that. Um, yeah, and as you see, I've got to play Solar Striker, which I love. Um you know really need to practice on that I'm, i get a bit further each time but still can't quite get to where i got to the last time i done a video i got quite away you know i'll say that level i don't even know if it just continues or what but yeah this is a game i, I love i really need to play it more so yeah i'm really happy with that and um yeah great device i'll say a bit of a squeeze but we got it in there in the end so so anyway, if you was wondering if this will work on a Super Retro Trio Plus, you now have your answer, because it does. So, yeah, really happy. Right, okay, I'm going to leave that one now. hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, when you subscribe, hit that all on the underneath it when the little menu comes up, just so that you're made aware of all our videos and live streams. And also comment, because comments, likes, subs, it all helps our channels grow. And, you know, we're a few of us are fairly new channels so we need all the help we can get so yeah if you do that it just helps our videos get out to more people so all there is to say now is take care stay safe nerdy geezer out